Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Zipper Spark and you're watching my FTB Continuum Let's Play series. Today in this episode I wanted to do my very best to, to try and get to the digital upgrade. Now with this there's a few recipes that unlock in the EFAB table, um, namely the uh, applied energistic stuff. So if we look at the controller, it is one that does need the digital upgrade. So we can make that, we can make these. We do need to work on nether stars. We don't have any at all yet. Um, I think we have, we might have one or two skulls. We have two skulls. And I don't know if there's a crafting recipe for these. Wither ash from quark around a skeleton skull. Or the skull fragments that the bees make. Okay. Uh, we don't have any of that. And there's no recipe for it, I guess. Um, and then I guess we can get heads from bees as well. But... Um, Yeah, we don't have any skeleton skulls. So, we could look into what's needed for the bees, which, honestly, probably the best way long-term. Um, and something I'll probably end up doing off-camera is going over some bee breeding and things and stuff, because as it is, we have the ore crushers, we have the smelters, we have the energy bees, we got two sets of energy bees, and then up here, one of these, I think this one, is the clockwork, and it's only doing this, really, and so it's just like maybe some trickle power, I mean, as you, it says right now, it's generating zero, so there's not much energy at all that's adding to that, so we don't really need the clockwork running, but there's no reason to not have it on right now. Um, it's not using any resources or anything. That's odd. I just noticed this connects over here. But, um, anyways, the bees, yeah, we're going to need to get into the bees because the plutonium is, I mean, the cyanite and the plutonium both are going to be slow coming. And um, looking at this... I pulled two ingots out already. This, oh, we should have another one. Two more. So it, it will slowly get through. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a while before it's all the way ready to go. Because um, we need, what is it? I think eight to make... The plutonium yeah eight to make the plutonium and then the plutonium is what's needed for the ludicrite and the ludicrite is what's needed for the digital upgrade so I don't know how far I'll get in that because we need four times four times eight which is quite a lot of the cyanite so I'll probably look into what's needed for the bees. Now, I did get a comment from uh, Ricky, I think, said that the cyanite and the plutonium bees, what they produce is actually switched if you use the um, centrifugal, centrifugal separator that we're using over here. So if we put the combs in here, the cyanite combs make plutonium grains and the plutonium cones make the cyanite grains and vice versa. Um, don't know if that is accurate. It's just the comment that I was put on there. So I figured we might as well look into that and find out. So um, looking at the bees, cyanite, actually you can look here. Cyanite combs there. 
and the plutonium combs there. Yeah, so that looks to be accurate there. Thanks, Ricky. But to get these, we need eulorium and nuclear. Eulorium needs nuclear or frugal. Okay, what's frugal? Modest, sinister, or fiendish? Sinister is cultivated. Modest can make a sinister. Looks like it has to be in the nether. But... I think this can do that anyways. Um, so anyways, uh, the nuclear, wait, what's it? Yeah, we're going down frugal. So that looks like we can have, we have modest, we have tropical, I think we have embittered somewhere, and then we have cultivated. So we can get that fairly simply. So nuclear, rusty, unstable. Or corroded, tarnished, galvanized, lustered, or leaden. We don't have any of those. We don't have unstable either. Prehistoric, resilient. Okay, what's resilient? Robust. I think we may have a robust. If not, unweary. We have tolerant. I might have. Rocky and diligent. We have rocky. We have diligent. So that um, is there. Primeval, Ancient, Noble, Diligent. We have those two. Primeval is Ancient and Secluded. Secluded. Yeah, it's just a bunch of getting through. I guess Frugal. We need it anyways. Monastic is, looks like, uh, hmm. don't know where those are. Monastic bees. They don't have a breeding recipe. So that means hopefully somewhere. Do we have any monastic? No. All right. Oh, I needed that lead. Yeah, I needed to make some more um, hardened glass. So that's what I was doing first but let me uh, get a few things done and ready and we'll see how far we can get okay so I did some searching online and apparently um, the monastic the only way to get them is the um, the drones and the only way to get the drones is by trading with villagers. So I came into my map and I, I mean, that one was already marked. But I scrolled around, found all the other villages that I had discovered already and um, put waypoints on them all. So we are going to go on a trip. So there's two over there and then the rest are kind of more all around. So we're going to go to these two. That one's the closest. I mean, other than the one we're in, but my poor single village over there is not an apiarist. So I will go. And if I find him, I will. I mean, I've got some emeralds. Could probably make some more. Um, but if I find him, I will be back and let you guys see him so hold tight okay i did find the apiarist and um i got his trades unlocked to where he'll get me the mana mana monastic drone just need to give him a princess well i got two princesses from the chest here in town so i just need to give him enough emeralds is he going to unlock more? Let's see what's next. That's the one I did. This one was already unlocked. Looks like there's no more after that. So I might need an ender drone sometime. Dude, go away. Hey, it's not a house anymore. I know, so you can go away. Yep, you have to go away. 
Go bang another door. Um, I'll probably get two. So let me get two of these. Since I have the two princesses. There. So now I can do that twice. Um, I will make this nice and safe for him. I don't have any lights. Um, yeah, I had to trade. I, he did give me a proven frame. They're pretty nice for, you know, using the regular apiaries. But with the industrial ones, we really don't need them. Um, it's the only block I have is the apiary. What is going on? Go away. Fine, here. It's no use. You can't come in. Can't come in. Go away. I don't want you here. Go away. Well, I'm going to sneak out. Okay. So, let me tag this one, or I guess I can just change that. So, let me change that waypoint here. Edit. A beerist. Okay. Yeah, that one this one's all the way over here. So, it's one we like flew by real quick and didn't stop at um, yeah this is the second village I checked the first one was here second one was here and then I was gonna swing by up here but yeah didn't have to go too far so they're not terribly uncommon so let me leave these guys alone we'll head back home and I'll catch up with you there okay so I mapped out, and that's what these signs are, mapping out all the things I need to do, and there's, you can see each one of these is a breeding I need to do. So um, the plutonium is just the cyanite and eulorium, which you need the eulorium to make the cyanite. So that's an easy step to do. But as we saw, the centrifuge we're using uses the cyanite anyways. So the cyanite needs nuclear eulorium, Nuclear is unstable and rusty, or some there's other things that will work too, but so we can see they all kind of come from the same recipe anyways. Elorium, frugal, nuclear, frugal, modest, and sinister. We have those already. Um, we only had one sinister though, so we might have to be careful with it. Um, so the rusty, and um, yeah, let me look that let me show you here so so these guys the nuclear the rusty corroded tarnished galvanized etc all with the unstable so the rusty comes from meadows or forest with resilient corroded is wintry or modest with resilient um, tarnished is you know different hive bees with resilient and so that's why that's there. So it doesn't really matter which hive bee we used, but we need to use a resilient with it. Now the unstable from over here also uses the resilient and a prehistoric. The resilient, shh, quiet. The resilient is an industrious and robust. I'm going to knock that door down if you don't stop banging on it. There, you can't bang the door now. And it's frozen. Is it gonna go? Nope, my game crashed. So let me reload, I'll be right back.
Huh. Okay. Uh, load it back up. Um, huh. Don't know exactly what caused that, but I'm just going to huh. leave that alone. Oh, and the huh. chunks are loading. Huh. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. Where were we? The the nuclear ones, yeah. So the all these different ones are all, um, you know, something with resilient. The resilient industrious, which we already have. That's what the asterisk over here is. Is if we already have it. No, nope, that's super noisy. And then there's the robust, which is unwary and tolerant. Tolerant is rocky and diligent. Now we already have one diligent drone, but you're going to see we need diligent down here too. So um, we actually need to do more, but it's super easy, common and cultivated. So that should be real quick. Um, the next ones are, let's see, we did that line. So here, the prehistoric. Prehistoric is primeval ancient. Primeval is ancient secluded. Ancient is diligent noble, so that's there. And secluded, we need mar monastic that we just got, plus an austere. An austere is modest and frugal, and the frugal we have back up here. So um, I will start those, and uh, I won't make you sit through them all because that's just going to be boring. Um, there's a bunch, and then as I get through them, I'll probably, you know, knock them down, and at the end of the episode, I'll show you how far I got. Um, so I doubt I'll get through it all in time for this episode. But uh, while I do that, I will, um, I guess, let let that run. It's, you know, do, you know, run the, um, get some cyanide the old-fashioned way. I only have six more. So it's going pretty good. We have 51 in there still, so it's got plenty of fuel to go. Though so as we, you know, as we use it up, we'll come over here and get it. So our first bits of the um, let's see, ludicrite. So our first bits here. Um, since we don't have another star, we're going to use the endurium. And the blaze rods so we'll probably be able to craft up at least one ludicrite block um, but probably not the entire digital upgrade now we will um, yeah this is what I needed the hardened glass for which I noticed there actually is no recipe for um, the infusion smelter so we have to use the uh the blast furnace i think they'll use the cyanite or signalum and obsidian instead of the lead and obsidian so that's a bit of a pain but i have the obsidian now um yeah so i'll work on get the bee started make some more of the other things and i'll be right back okay one little update real quick. I got to the point where I made the austere bee, and that's this one right here. However, I checked on it to see what kind of flower it needed, and I said cacti. I'm like, oh, I have that already. So I had to set that up for the um, the frugal. But it says the effect is creeper. I looked that up and it will have creeper like explosions centered on where you are so if you're within the territory it could hit you at any time and these explosions they don't do damage to blocks around you so i'm fine walking in and out no problem but the explosions are not affected by any armor i wear so even if i put blast protection on everything it would not change the amount of damage it does to me the damage is variable which means I, it could get one shot kill me so 
I'm a little scared putting this in. I'm just going to see what happens. So, you get to be here with me, I guess. Nothing yet? No? I see them flying out. They all are loving. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that one shot killed me. So. Now I have to run over there and grab my stuff. So. Let's hope another one doesn't come while I'm over there. Run, 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 run. Let's pull the bees out first. Okay. Yeah. All right, put that back on. That goes there. Okay. So now I'm going to put this back in, but I'm going to be ready. Let me get out of the way here. All right. Now it said the territory is nine by six by nine. So if I'm this far away, I'm fine. Um, I just have to wait for that to finish before I go close to it. So, um, show you a couple things I've been waiting on. I've been waiting on this. Um, I think I just need two more. I can actually make. Um, I'm really close to making my first ludicrite block. So I have all of these things ready to go. So that's no big deal. And then the plutonium. I have enough. Uh, if you look at the cyanite. So there's 22, which means three. Yeah, so just two more, and that will give me enough to make the four plutonium I need for the block of ludicrite. So I, that's what I've been doing, is kind of waiting for that to go. And while that was going, working on the bees. Oh, there's one. Uh, yeah, that just popped out, so. I have a ways to go still, but we'll put that one in there. So one more, um, and then we'll get our ludicrite. So I just thought I'd bring you back in just to see exactly what sort of effect that creeper was. But uh, it, it it kills you, so that's that's what it, effect it has. It Yeah. I'll be back. Okay, so this finished. Thank goodness. And these will actually get you some gunpowder as well. Um, so if I run over here and put these in. Yeah, we get some gunpowder. Um, we don't have a spot to put it right now, but um, so the next step on the with the austere is to make the secluded. So the monastic and the austere make the secluded. So here's the austere. We only have the monastic drone, so I have to use the princess for the austere. Um, so put those in here. That makes secluded. Now we'll look this up and see if there's any special um, effects that it has. Effect none. That's nice. And it needs wheat. Okay. We can get some wheat. Oh, what kind of uh, weather does it need? Normal, normal. All right. So I can pull the desert emulator out. Put that in. Open sky light. Lifespan. So I just need to get some wheat. All right. I don't know if you know, I did finally get that last cyanite, so we can make our ludicrite. Boom. So, 
that's the first one. Now, if you remember, we need four of these plus a bunch of other stuff for that. So we're getting there. We have one. All right, so wheat. Seeds. And we need our medic. Okay. Um, I don't know if it matters. We'll just put it here. And water oh I am about dead um there and then we can get some Fertilizer. There we go. All right. So put these away. I don't need those on me right now. But um, that is going to be where we end for today. So we got um, Ludicrite made at least and uh, some progress on the bees and my rubber trees have filled up this barrel. So that's why it stopped there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like and leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.